welcome back. I have a mystery box of sci-fi, supposedly sci-fi horror books that I'm going to go ahead and open up. Uh, should be only those things, but uh, last few times these I've got these boxes, there's been a bunch of filler stuff like mystery and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box. I don't know all of what's in there. I just went ahead and popped the tape off the top and uh, and we'll see what see what we got. So get this filler out of the way grab a couple stacks here all right let's see we got whoa throwing books already uh more of paul harvey's the rest of the story i don't know what that is some sort of another filler book already that's not a great start chronicles of Narn narnia silver chair steve crane Stranger Inside says it's science fiction. Never heard of it. Uh, Area 51 and Nosferatu. I actually have a big fat stack of these Area 51s. Um, bundle them all up together at some point. Death in the Fifth Position by Edgar Box. Um, some sort of mystery. Looks like it has to do with ballet of some kind. Douglas Preston, The Codex. Daylight, Sylvester Stallone, movie tie-in I don't have, actually. So that's kind of cool so far. Reliquary, the sequel to Relic, Douglas Preston, Lincoln Child. There's about 84 copies of that one. <laughs> James White, The Galactic Gourmet. Nice. I have a few James White uh, books as well. Uh, Ambulance, Ship, and some other ones. That's a keeper. I see King. Gerald's Game. Nomad, David Alexander. It says it's Adventure. A bid for ultimate power pits Nomad against a ruthless techno-messiah. Dean Koontz's Frankenstein, book one. Uh, I think, actually, this is the first time I've found book one. I, for whatever reason, pretty much only find book three. I almost, I have probably like six copies of book three and none of the other ones. And I think there's five in this set. Never read that, but... I think there's five or so. Um, Dawn Song, Michael Morano. It says Tor Horror. So, put that there. Phase Two, Walt and Leia Richmond. Ace Science Fiction. A super novel. Says fiction, the destroyer, number fifty-two, Warren Murphy and Richard Sapier. The Omen trilogy. This is the third one. Final conflict. I have that one as well. Good old Battlefield Earth. Look at this guy. Look how thick that freaking thing is. Horrible movie. So cheesy. Terribly cheesy. Andrea Norton, Moon Called. Arthur C. Clarke, The Wind from the Sun. It's kind of a nice copy. Dune, The Butlerian Jihad. That's one of the after ones. I can't see my, oh, my dunes over there now. I can't see it from here. To Escape the Stars, Robert Hoskins. Silverberg, Magipore Chronicles. Let's get a copy as well. Craig Mills, The Bane of Lord Cal Caledon. Actually got the same copy in the last one. Fantasy. Yeah. Where am I putting fantasy? Over there. The Ends of the Circle, Paul O. Williams. 
Famous Tales of Mystery and Horror, Edgar Allan Poe. It's a pretty cool looking cover. I do not have this one. I've never seen this one. The First Men in the Moon, a novel by H.G. Wells. First time I've seen that. Hmm. Check that one out. Land of the Possible, Mary Alice White. Some more filler here. We got Richard Lehman, Resurrection Dreams. I don't think I have that one. Minion, L.A. Banks, A Vampire Huntress Legend. The Pegasus Secret, Greg Loomis. Probably 50-50 so far on the... Uh, just regular fiction. Agatha Christie, Endless Night. It's a nice looking copy. Uh, this is a, a binary star. Two novellas in one volume. I haven't seen this, this type or cover before, but Fritz Lieber, Destiny Times Three, and Norman Spinrad riding the torch. And it's pretty crispy clean. Feels, feels really good shape still. That's a cool one. I haven't seen that before. Oh, nice. I don't think I have this one. Edgar Rice Burroughs Lost on Venus. I do not think I have that one. So that will be added to the collection. Uh, Robert McBride Allen, The Ring of Sharon. Some Heinlein, Stranger in a Strange Land, and that is a nice looking cover compared to some of the other ones. I like that cover. All right. Let's go. Oh, I've been looking for this. I actually almost ordered this yesterday. Actually, it just notified me today. That's what it was. I had put it on a watch list yesterday. Notified me it was ending today. Rosemary's Baby, an original copy. The smash hit of the year, so probably not a first here. But, um, well, first Dell Printing, 68. Okay. Awesome. That's a good one. Uh, Tarzan of the Apes, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Kind of a newer cover. I try to keep all the older looking ones that are like this this style here or the ones that are all white with like just the square picture in the middle grace chetwin the riddle and the rune that's definitely fantasy yep why fantasy barbara hambly fantasy rainbow abyss Cynthia Voigt, the Vandermark, Vandermark Mummy, YA Mystery. All right. John B. Robinson, the Sapphire Sea. That's a suspense. So this is just not sci-fi horror. The Taking, Dean Koontz, another not sci-fi horror. Uh, Shining, Stephen King. This one always goes good. People always want The Shining. All right. Uh, Destroyer. I have a bunch of these. They're adventure. So, not uh, sci-fi or anything either. Uh, James Axler, Deathlands. I got... Uh, quite a few of those. Another one, Deathlands, Shadow Fortress, Hellbenders, and Judas Strike. All three of those. I have a bunch. The Painted Bird, 
Jersey Kaczynski. Trippy looking cover. Never seen that one before. Try not get the reflection. Robin McKinley, Sunshine. Uh, another copy got this last time as well. Pierce Anthony Orn in that older looking cover there. Uh, the Plant People, Dale Carlson. When the fog came with its tiny dancing lights, the terrible things began. Huh, it's a very tiny book. Super, super thin. Probably only like 60, 70 pages. Oh, 92 pages, but holy spaced out, Batman. Oh. Is this supposed to be like real or something? Oh. There's like pictures of everything in here. What? Is this a movie? This can't be like... Weird. It's got photographs of people with like makeup on being changed by the fog and stuff. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Miracle and other Christmas stories. Not quite what I wanted. I might have to stop ordering these boxes. <laughs> They're getting worse and worse. Another Star Trek, Lost Era. I've got 10 more on the way. And uh, if all 10 of them suck, I'm just going to not do it anymore. I mean, there's some good stuff in here, but it's not like it used to be. When I first started buying these, it was literally all sci-fi, some fantasy, and horror. And then it just kind of went downhill where a bunch of other filler stuff started getting thrown in there, too. So it's not, not good uh, practice of keeping business. Dragonlance, Downfall. Another... Axler, Outlanders. Uh, Choice of the Cat, Book Two of the Vampire Earth, E.E. E. Knight. That one is sci fi. The Destroyer, another one. Nice, another copy of Amneville Horror. That was. Pretty vintage looking copy. Pretty sure I have that, that one already. If I don't, I have two now. Amityville Horror, again, <laughs> different copy. Xena, Warrior Princess. That's the second one of those I got. Another Buffy. Quite a bit of Buffy now. Frank Robinson, Donor, eh. Fallen, movie tie-in. Cool with that. I like my movie tie-ins, and that was a pretty darn good movie. Journey to the Flame, Richard Monaco. This looks like a movie tie-in or something, but maybe not. A.E. Von Vaught, More Than Superhuman. It's an interesting cover. It says on the back, Him, Research Alpha, Humans, Go Home, Laugh, Clone, Laugh, All the Loving Androids, More Than Superhuman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, oddly enough, I have about three or four copies of that one, too. Nancy Springer, Heaven's Rebel. That's a fantasy one. Famous Ghost Stories. These ones seem to get snatched up on whatnot pretty quick. People seem to like those. 100 Great Fantasy Short Short Stories. Short Short Stories. Has Zelazny, Ellison, Lovecraft, Gene Wolfe. Joanna Russ, a bunch of people in there. It's kind of cool. 100 short, short stories. Stories. 
kind of look and see if it gives me a list of everybody. There's a lot. Yeah. Zelazny, Ellison, James Gunn, Donald Wolheim, Harlan Ellison again, William Ten, another Wolheim, Damon Knight, another Wolheim, Halderman, Busby. There's quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's pretty cool. Uh, Elizabeth Hand. Ace to Voltide. Uh, Piers. Oh, there we go. Piers Anthony and Alfred Tella, the Willing Spirit. Galaxy Quest movie tie-in. Nice. Another classic. Charmed. Got a few of these as well. Another Warhammer book. Uh, Annihilation Squad. Warhammer 40k. Actually, I have probably about 10 of these now. Different ones. Not the same ones. David Drake. Uh, Grimier Than Hell. Oh, Grimmer Than Hell. I must have read that one. Grimmer. Not grimy. Grimmer. All right. The Blooding. Patricia Windsor. She seeks out prey in the darkest night. Point. Scholastic. Point and Scholastic. Oh, I thought this was uh, the other one, but it is the Spawn LJ Key. It says fiction. In the darkening menace of night, they are watching, they are waiting, they are aching to kill again. Oh, that's pretty good. Nomads, Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. Cool looking cover. Might be good. Ron Goulart, Brain Zinc. It's a daw. Not the yellow spine, but a still a daw. Dark Angel, Skin Game. Wait, that was the TV show, right? Pretty sure. I don't think I ever watched that one. <clears throat> the Forbidden Game, The Kill, L.J. Smith. Still of the Night. Uh, this is a movie with. <coughs> Excuse me. Movie with Meryl Streep. Still of the Night. I don't think I ever saw that one. Anne McCaffrey Dragon Song. That's a nice vintage copy. The Wonderful World of Disney, Dr. Sin, alias the Scarecrow. So it's a feature film, I don't remember that one. A bit more filler. Got one or two more stacks here. Uh, Podcane of Mars, Heinlein. This is a permabound copy of Dune. Or maybe it was a very small hardcover. Kind of feels like different than a permabound. But. Huh. It's next library. I haven't seen one like this before. It is a 27th printing, 1983. And it's a Berkeley. Yeah. Interesting copy. The Princess and the Goblin, 
George McDonald. Uh, Resonance of Blood, Robert Vardaman. Is that that's mystery? Neil Gaiman, Stardust. Peter Benchley, Rumies. Rummies. Rummies. Rummies? I'm going to go with Rummies. Thunderheart. Oh, man, I remember this movie. Uh, Val Kilmer and Graham Greene. Huck Finn, Mark Twain. I don't know how many copies of that I have now. A lot. Too many. All right. One more stack after this one. Shy's Destiny... Daniel Walther. It's fantasy, dollar fantasy. Luck of Brins 5, Cherry Wilder. A.E. Von Vaught, The Book of Tath. Da 580. That's a doll I have not seen yet. So it's a new doll to me. Two copies of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Richard Bowker, Forbidden Sanctuary. Glenn Cook, uh, The White Rose. Third Chronicle of the Black Company. Glenn Cook, uh, The Silver Spike. I'm guessing that's one of the first two. I'm guessing. All right. Last stack here. Weird Heroes, New American Pulp, Byron Press, Priest. Volume 1 contains Philip Jose Farmer, Ron Goulart, Fritz Lieber. Eleven spectacular authors and five of the most fantastic fantasy artists combine their skills so there's quite a bit of illustrations in here so I don't know if you can see that very well interesting I haven't seen that that uh, compilation before Michael Slade Death's Door best-selling author of Hangman Genuine rival to Stephen King, it says. Shiva descending, Gregory Benford. Star Trek, A Time to Love, and more. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings. And a couple more here, and we'll be good to go. Swept Away, Def, Defid Abhu. Hugh, David of Hugh. I have no idea if I'm saying that even remotely close. That's a YA novel. And Sid Devil, Aaron Elson. And finally, Dagon, Fred Chapel, a novel of blinding terror. This one is considered a horror. Is that a peekaboo? It is a peekaboo. Look at that. You can see the front, and then let's peekaboo it. You get first look. Oh, snap, that's a good one. I like that. That's like a priest with a massive dragon tattoo on his chest. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a neat one. I haven't seen that before. So, all in all, there's a few good things in here. It's kind of half good, I think half not so I'll go ahead and give it a what am I reading them out of 10 5 or 10 can't remember 
If it's a five, it's 2.5. If it's a 10, it's a five. How about that? It's half, half and half. Half good, half not, so. All right, I have several more and um, I'll see if, uh, if we'll keep going with this. If not, then I'll have to stop, stop buying them and find another way to buy some more stuff, so. All right, I'll catch you guys next time and uh, thanks for hanging out. See ya.